when a child is born, they don't request to be born. Actually, the birth process, the one who does most of the work is the mother. The child does not request to be born, yet they are born. Such that other children will ask, why was I even born? Because I did not choose to be born. But when it comes to spiritual matters, we choose to be baptized. We choose to be born again. Come with me as we read Acts 2 verse 38. It says, Then Peter said to them, Repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit works within us. Therefore, when Peter says, repent and be baptized, baptism is an instrument that is used in the matters of salvation. Baptism does not guarantee you and me salvation. But when we are baptized, we publicly announce that we have accepted Christ as our personal savior. Therefore, baptism is, an, is a public announcement that you and me have agreed or rather want to walk with Christ, want to go with Christ. Peter says, repent and be baptized. And when you are baptized, accept the Holy Spirit. For the Holy Spirit is the one that will guide us. For the Holy Spirit is the one that will walk with us. For the Holy Spirit is the one that is going to show us the way. Baptism does not guarantee you salvation. Because there are people that are baptized yet still walking as if they have not accepted Jesus Christ. And there are people that are not baptized but are walking as if they have been baptized. Baptism is an instrument, a symbol that is used to show that you have accepted Christ as your personal savior. Therefore, what is it that you are waiting for? What is it that is keeping you away from Christ? Get baptized and allow the Holy Spirit to work within you, to go with you as you are journeying in the journey of Christ. Repent and be baptized. It is a call that Peter makes. Repent and be baptized for the hour of judgment has come.